Hey guys, Tony from Mandy's Z Performance here, and uh, here we're going to do a guide rod install on this Beretta 92F. Uh, so we do offer the guide rods in multitude of PVD finishes. Uh, be before we get started, just like with uh, any firearm that you're working with, especially when there's spring-loaded components, when you're dealing with the recoil assembly, we want to make sure that we have safety glasses on, and also make sure that we have no ammo on the bench, no magazine in the firearm, and that the breech will be empty, open, and clear. Uh, and, and again, exercising all kinds of caution, make sure that you have no ammo on the bench. Uh, so before we get started, we're going to make sure that we rack the slide back, making sure that it is clear, uh, there's no magazine, it's empty, open, and safe. Uh, so this one still happens to have the uh, the stock guide rod assembly here, and we'll, we'll go ahead and break this baby down. Uh, so with regards to the uh, the lever here, for, for people that have not uh, actuated this or broken it down yet, you're going to push this lever in, thereby having this plunger uh, protrude this way. At the same time, take this lever and rotate it like that, 90 degrees. At that point, you can release the slide and it will come right off. We'll set the slide aside and at this point we can pull and remove our stock assembly here. And, uh, and that's what it looks like. And we will take the stainless steel one. Uh, I'll be putting the stainless one on today. And we will reload. We'll just reverse it in the opposite direction. Put in the bore here on the slide. And we will catch this lug right here, right on this side, right? So you can see it right here. So we'll catch it right there, like so. And I will just reverse the steps and put it on the firearm or on the uh, on the frame. At that point, we will lock the slide back. We'll take our lever here and rotate it back to 90 degrees. And you can see what the guide rod looks like, like it is. And we'll release the slide, and uh, and that's what it looks like. And uh, pretty quick, pretty simple. Direct replacement, NDZ, so you can offer one of these uh, one of these PVD finishes here. So you got the tin, you got the black oxide, you got the gray ti titanium carbon nitride, and also the copper finish here. Uh, and that's it. And you can uh, check us out at ndzperformance.com. Uh, like us on Facebook, and also uh, follow us on Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take care.